Okay, so today we're going to be reacting to Subliminal. So I have no idea, literally zero idea, what this game is, what it's about, what the plot is, who it's made from. I have no idea. This is going to be my genuine, honest reaction. So let's see what this game is. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome. Your safety is our priority. As you embark on your experience, please take notes. And so I'm getting some Fallout 3 vibes from this. It literally looks like a Fallout 3 trailer. I'm not sure where they're going with this. Using stick figures to advertise your game in 2023. And remember these few tips to ensure a safe and pleasant journey. Stay calm and composed. Panic can cloud your judgment and disorient you. Take a moment to take a deep breath, relax, and can- So basically the budget for this quote-unquote game trailer was like $10. If even, you could just open up Pivot and Pivot is free and animate this exact same animation. And idiots are eating this stuff up. Oh, 900,000 views, thousands of likes for this? For this? What is so exciting about this? What is so good about this? It's all hype, man. This game will suck. Continue along your journey. Use your light source to help you navigate through the idiot experience. Doing this ensures literal flash animation literally a flash animation and how many likes did this get again how many likes 64,000 likes and this game will probably cost 60 dollars or more and people are like yeah we don't need to see gameplay let's just show a stupid stick figure animation made in freaking pivot or flash play i've seen flash games that are better animated than this that there are no unwanted surprises and keeps you fully aware of your surroundings. A a a a avoid making eye contact with any unfamiliar faces. This is mandatory, and failure to do so will result in an overwhelming assault. So it's saying in-game footage, but, you know, I don't really buy it. So let's go back a little bit. Yeah, totally in-game footage. Wow, look at this. Look at these modern... Gra no, this is not in-game. I guarantee you... The game will not look like this. I guarantee it. If it's on console, there's no way, no way it's going to look like. This. And look, the camera doesn't even move like a player would. It moves like it's like animated or scripted or whatever. Why is the camera moving like? This? Look at the, the way the camera moves. It's moving. A controller doesn't move like that, and a, and a freaking mouse definitely doesn't move like this. Is this actual gameplay? Is this actual gameplay? This is absolutely scripted. Just just look and pay attention to the way the character moves, and you can tell 100% it's a freaking animation. Another no-name studio. Literally nobody knows who this studio is. People are just taking their word for it. They don't need to see proof. They don't need to actually see somebody actually playing the game. Oh, just just give us this random animation and say it's gameplay and then sell it to your idiots, thousands of idiots that will probably spend $70 on a game that doesn't even exist. Oh man, he turned on the light. Wow, that's so high tech, bro. Wow, he turned on the lights, bro. Oh my God, I'm so hyped for this game. You can turn on lights. Nah, what, what is this? What am I looking at? So again, jerky camera movement usually indicates that this is pre-rendered or it's been hand animated months beforehand. This is not live action game. So now they, they just showed a guy literally get up from his computer screen or TV screen and then just walk around his house. And now they're showing like a collage of, of random scenes. So zero gameplay. 90, you can't even consider this gameplay. If you consider that gameplay, you are out of your mind. You are completely brain dead. If you think walking around a room is gameplay. Has the bar been set so freaking low that this is now considered gameplay in 2023? Literally, we're in the future and this is considered gameplay. So all I'm 
missing is walking around, going from room to room, doing nothing. Your character doesn't have any hands, any shadows. Your character is basically a floating camera moving around a static room with nothing going on at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely pre-rendered. If you don't think this is pre-rendered, something's wrong, you haven't been paying attention. If a random no-name studio comes out with freaking 2040 graphics from like 20 years in the future, you know it's going to be a scam. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. So running through another hallway with some sort of red filter on it. Wow, so exciting. No, it's not. It's not. Can't even see what's going on. What is happening? He's just running. A floating camera moving in one direction to the other side of the room with no plot, no story, no dialogue, no action, no freaking interactions. It's just a floating camera moving across a room and all of these lemmings are hyped for this thinking that it's going to be real. It's not. <laughs> Yeah, it's garbage. It's it's a scam. It's a scam, bro. Who's hyped for this? What's you know what? I'm going to make a game. I'm going to make a video game, but it's not actually going to be a game. It's just going to be a pre-rendered blender animation, and I'm going to say real life gameplay, and I'm going to advertise it like it's a real game. And then once the game comes out, it will look like freaking Nintendo 64 graphics. That's what I'm going to do because all these 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 um crooks are getting rich making millions off of all these fake games so so i guess and and i've made zero dollars from calling these people out so let me make a fake game let me make a fake ass blender animation and i'm going to sell it for 80 dollars with expansion packs that cost like 30 40 dollars and and the lemmings will eat it up you just need to have good marketing good advertising and a stupid enough audience or 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 gaming platform to pull it off gaming is dead gaming is beyond dead